Well, Charlie, I was uh, stomping around in the mud here, and, and, and I came upon this car. It, it, it's beautiful. And I went, wow, I don't remember Chevy making this car. And that's because they didn't. They did. <laughs> Charlie made this car. Right? <laughs> so this is a, it's a 53 two-door post wagon. Well, it, it was a four-door wagon. They took doors and quarters from a two-door sedan and put them on it and then lowered the roof down, two and a quarter in the front, eight in the back. Wow. Yeah, because it's got, it's got a nice slant to slant. it. How many cars went into this? Uh, it took two station wagons and a sedan to build this. Wow. <laughs> so the donor cars, were they pretty decent cars? Pretty, pretty rough. The, oh, really? original, the original wagon came out of a junkyard in Honeybrook, uh, and they probably moved 100 cars to get it out. It was the <laughs> last car back in the junkyard. Been there for years. Uh, the other wagon came from Virginia. It was down in a farmer's field. Um, I bought a 327 from a fella, and the sedan came with it. Ah. I wanted to put the 327 in my 49 Merc. So, 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 so it was all mix and match. All but, mix and match. I mean, you really had some vision. I mean, to take these kind of relics, and and, and this is what you were going after. This to begin is what with. I was going. I wanted it to look like a real nomad, like it was the way they should have built it. Man, I mean, it's. It's so cool, you know, and, and the fact that it's rounded and everything, you're not into that tri a little bit more square. Mm -hmm. It's got great lines, and I love your color scheme, too. What's the blue? It's a blue streak, blue. Uh, it was on the Chevy's trucks. Oh, like on one of the newer, uh, newer One of the color? newer trucks. But that, and the roof is 57 Corvette Shoreline Beige. And uh, I mean, that's a classic. It's, I mean, sure, they use that Shoreline Beige forever. Forever. Wow. I use it on everything that I you, have. You do. Well, it's yeah. a great color, you know, yeah. and it's, it's that kind of cool. And I like your kind of, it's not really red, it's kind of a, it's not really burgundy. Your pin, your trim, and your pinstriping. It's mm -hmm. nice. It's a nice accent color. Really separates the top and bottom well. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I mean, I, this is just great. And then, you know, you, you kept a very uh, 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 stock interior. I mean, a little bit of a, a, a custom upholstery, uh, but you still got the the '53 that asymmetric uh, uh, it has gauge a stock cluster. Instrument cluster in it and steering column. It has the uh, add-on air, the old style add-on air under the there. Knee knocker. The yeah. Knee knocker. Yeah. Air. yeah. 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 Yeah, that'll blow you out of the car. <laughs> Stock seats too. Uh, sedan seat in the front, original station wagon seat in the rear. And it, I mean, was the station wagon seat raised up like that? Well, the seat's in the stock location, and it's all, you know, it's all an original seat. The roof and everything came down so much, it gives the illusion that the oh, back does, seat's yeah. up. Oh, it's something when you see, you put a full-size person back there, they think they're sitting on top of the well, it's car. Well, kind of, it's kind of it's stadium seating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, clean, white headliner. But I tell you, it's, it's this, it's this window here that just blows me away. And you did some work to, to turn this four door into a into a two door and then all the grafting and stuff that had to go into the fenders That's quite a bit the I mean, uh, you've, you've, looks like you've leaned the the b, the b pillar post forward. is leaned forward and yeah. made four and a quarter inches wide the tailgate and everything is leaned forward that's all forward too all forward too and then you, you then you i mean to graft these fenders what'd you do there well it was cut back here on the side and forward yeah and then it goes up and this is the original piece from the sedan then I had to make another piece that matches and bring it down. Wow, like obviously a custom window, right? Oh, yeah. That's a big chunk yeah, of glass. Five, five foot of glass. Five foot of glass. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was actually, to me, that was probably the hardest job was the garnish molding inside. Yeah. Because it's over five feet long. Wow. Wow. And it and it fits pretty good. It's a lot of work. Uh, I mean, I'm an amateur, and I, but I, I built pretty much all of it. Uh, it's just, I mean, it's a, this is a lot of work. And then you've got a Nomad tailgate because the 53s had had a horizontal had the, the, the uh, support the bar recess yes. yeah they had little recesses in them we overlaid it put the slats off the roof of an 85 blazer on it <laughs> cut them down and put the nomad chrome on it the, the latch is a vw oh is that right oh, vw cool. hood latch now it's a stock rear bumper i uh -huh. cut the tops off the bumperettes to make it like you used to be when we were kids you used to open the top and the kid ran by and put his foot up on it climbed into hey. the back yep 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 well, so you but cut the, those off and then welded a piece of them had, up and then had them chromed. Mm -hmm. Wow, man, this is yeah. really nice. I got to tell you. So this would have been a uh, six-cylinder to begin with. Six-cylinder. Leave the stock six in it. No, no, no. Well, let's go have a look and see what you got. Wow, yeah, 327. 327. 300. Uh, Corvette 270 horse carburetors. Wow. Mm -hmm. She fits in there pretty nice. Oh, yeah. I mean, fits in there nice. It has a 68 Nova subframe in it. Um, so it has the power steering from the 68 Nova. 
Well, that's nice. Mm -hmm. so, that, so actually, the 327 just dropped in there. Dropped right on the mounts. Right that's, on the mounts. That's, and it's got a power glide behind it. Uh, I mean, it's such a great engine and power glide, great, great Oh, combo. nice. It's, it's a pleasure to drive. This oh, thing I, just goes down the road like it's on a cloud. And, and uh, is this something, I mean, is this a driver? Oh, yeah. First 100 miles on it, I had 100 miles on it, I drove it to Columbus, Ohio to the Good Guys show first, <laughs> first run. Well, you know, everything, I mean, uh, the hood ornament is, is awfully nice, but that was a period. That was the deluxe hood ornament for 53, 54. Wow, and you know, the you kept a, a stock grill so it's all it's all stock from the firewall forward except for the California one-piece bumper. Wow, and pinstriping. Charlie, this is this is just beautiful. Now, you've been to the McCunchy show before? Yes, I've been here since 1985. Well, have you ever year. had the, the uh, you know, kind of the weather like we got today? It always rains. It always rains. <laughs> it always rains. <laughs> it's part of its charm, it's right? It's part of it. It is. Well, you brought out an absolutely fabulous car, and I'm sure glad you did, man. 53 two-door post. Chevy should have done it. Should have done it. Yeah, <laughs>